Hey everyone, Justin Cofield here. I'm in between Dripping Springs and downtown Austin in a community called Headwaters. And I'm looking at David Weekly Homes and I'm super excited about this home because it's, it's unique. I look at new construction homes all the time and they oftentimes end up looking the same. But the thing that I am really excited about to show you in this house is how unique the layout is. So um, let's get right into it. Let's get started and I cannot wait to show you this home. Hey everyone, so as I said a minute ago, I'm in Headwaters, uh, which is a community uh, kind of in between Dripping Springs and Austin. It's actually a Dripping Springs address. Um, it's a new build community. There. I think there's going to be about seven or 800 homes here total. Um, this is a new phase. This is a 60 foot lot, so it's a really wide lot. Uh, lots of good space in between these houses. And um, just to start off, this is a kind of like a that craftsman feel. Um, want, want to notice like the, the stone with the board and batten on the side and then you've got kind of a shiplap uh, look on the front uh, really timeless very craftsman this is the um, <clears throat> this is the high crest model from David Weekly it's uh, 3751 square feet four bedroom four full bath it's called a one and a half story and I'll show you that here in a bit immediately walk in and notice the floors I had to actually text the sales agent to ask her are these wood or uh, luxury vinyl plank they are luxury vinyl plank uh, but really high-end luxury vinyl plank and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with luxury vinyl I think some of it can look very cheap and some of it can look awesome and this really looks fantastic so as you walk in, immediately notice this huge, enormous living space that uh, peers out into the backyard. Tons of natural light pouring in. You've got these uh, sliders. It's a three, three light slider that opens up. Um, very, very cool views. This is like you stand in this room and uh, you're kind of like inundated with natural light and views of what's behind the house really really gorgeous I'm immediately drawn to this section of the room so to me this is like Norman Rockwell eat your heart out big dining room table uh, it's got a buffet at the end where you can put dishes you can display stuff um, a side facing window there but to me this is super timeless I love this built-in buffet uh, with granite countertop and then you've got your chandelier for this big gigantic dining room table this is like Thanksgiving dinner all of the family together it's it's just designed for that and it it feels so cozy and so right as you're coming in the kitchen you've got a, a pantry tucked away behind here it's a walk-in pantry tons of storage I love that and uh, beautiful granite countertops they've got kind of this gray vein that runs through them to give it a little contrast there uh, I love the huge island <clears throat> excuse me the white cabinets uh, farmhouse sink you've got stainless appliances there's your uh, vena hood these are GE cafe appliances I'm a GE fan I love GE appliances double oven um, they also have the wireless oven so you can connect that wirelessly to your phone there's an app and you can make the oven turn on I can just imagine myself standing here you know washing dishes doing the dishes and looking out at that view it's incredible um, so just a lot of great common space here and you've got the uh, the owner suite tucked away on the back side of the house I really like the positioning of that um, there's a little half bath here for guests to use it's actually not little it's huge I was surprised by the size of this half bath let's check out the owner suite rear facing windows that just peer out into the expanse uh, you've got a trade ceiling uh, again these beautiful floors there's plenty of room here for king size bed uh, sitting area um, just to, to kind of make it your retreat uh, I love the picture windows there on the side wall we'll get another little view of this really a beautiful picture to wake up to in the morning okay this bathroom I love I love double doors I love this uh, honeycomb tile uh, with some contrast in it to make it kind of uh, stand out I love the double vanity that are separated <clears throat> we've got black cabinets on those double vanities and this is with like a, a makeup cabinet here um, which is super cool I don't see that very often it's done really well I love that the tub is not built in it's just a free-floating soaking tub uh, really really pretty um, frameless shower huge shower uh, I'm a fan of this bathroom it's really gorgeous uh, and love the finishes here 
Here's your walk-in closet, and thank you, David Weekly. You put a window in the closet. I am a huge fan of this. This is a, a gigantic closet, and it's just filled with natural light. Um, I really, really like this uh, closet bathroom combo here. It flows well. It's beautiful. It's uh, timeless, but also sleek. Um, they did a great job on this bathroom, and so I'm considering buying this house myself. <laughs> no, it's this is an awesome bathroom. It's not like huge, but it feels right. It feels just right, and it's beautiful. Let's check out the rest of this house. There's a lot to offer here. As I said, it's a little over 3,700 square feet, so there's a lot of space in this house, and normally I would go upstairs next, but I want to go to this other side of the home and show you the, the, the bonus space, the mother-in-law space. So this door that we're looking at right here, that's um, your garage entry. We'll check that out in a moment. Mud area, we'll check that out again in a moment. You've got like a little linen closet here or coat closet here um, for guests uh, or for you. And then this is your bonus suite. You've got like on the opposite side of the house, side facing window, a mother-in-law suite with its own private bathroom, its own private closet. Let's take a glance in that bathroom. Again, beautiful finishes. I love that tile goes all the way up to the ceiling in that shower. It is a shower only on this particular model. I believe it's an option to have uh, something different there. <clears throat> but perfect spot for guests or, or you know, long-term guests even. Let's come back. I want to check out, this is your mud area, coats, purses, shoes, um, all of that. We're going to uh, poke our heads in this garage. This is a three-car garage. Uh, so if you want a golf cart, if you have a fun car, uh, antique car, whatever, lots and lots of space in this garage uh, for uh, parking your cars. And then uh, maybe you have a, like a workout. Uh, your gym could be in that third bay. Uh, plenty of space there. Let's head to the front of the home. There's a dedicated office here with front-facing windows. This is actually a huge office. I feel like it could use like some sort of like... Um, contrast like color on the wall or something like that but that's easily done you've got full light doors here and front facing windows and then as I'm walking out of this I noticed this earlier there's a little indention here uh, specifically done for a, uh, a table an entryway table uh, nice job David Weekly on the, the attention to the detail there so that's pretty cool uh, we'll go up the stairs here in a minute I want to save that uh, kind of for the latter half I love David Weekly laundry rooms so check out this laundry room You've got washer, dryer, like oversized. You've got cabinet space. You've got a folding table, which is a game changer if you don't have one of those in your laundry room. It's awesome. And then more storage space here. So this is kind of an enormous laundry room. I love how they did it. You make your way kind of down this hall here. You've got a coat closet. You've got a uh, linen closet here. Uh, right across from it so tons of storage and then you've got a built-in desk this could be kids homework this could be mom's workstation dad's workstation it could be kind of whatever you want it to be it I love it that it's built in I'm a sucker for built-ins they're kind of timeless and I love how they look so we've got a couple of bedrooms here these are secondary bedrooms and they're pretty good size they're not small by any means you could possibly fit a king-size bed in here it might be a little tight uh, for sure a queen-size bed um, you've got a, a walk-in closet there, side-facing window, and it opens into a bathroom here. This bathroom has dual vanity, and it also opens to another bedroom that we'll see here in a minute. I love um, when they have a shared bathroom for secondary bedrooms to have dual vanity on here. I love that option. There's the other bedroom. We'll see it in a second. And then also the closed-off door to the shower and toilet. Someone can be in there taking a shower and doing their business while someone else is getting ready in front of the uh, sink. I, that's the only way to do Jack and Jill. So um, this is kind of a unique Jack and Jill in the way that it's laid out between the rooms, and I kind of like that. We'll see this other bedroom. It's about the same size as the other secondary bedroom. Again, perfect for a queen-size bed. Um, and then it has a, an access to the bathroom there as well. Walk-in closet. Let's go back out this way, and uh, we'll go upstairs. I want to show you that portion of the home. I'm becoming more and more of a fan of David Weekly Homes. Uh, they do a really good job on customer service. They have just got their stuff in order there. And I just recently closed one with a client and it was a fantastic experience. So I'm becoming a fan. Um, I think they re build really great houses. 
So you get to the top of these stairs, and yes, there is a balcony right there. Check out this flex space. Let's go see the closet. No, I want to see the balcony. Let's go to the balcony. Uh, pick the balcony. Let's go to the balcony. Flex space, balcony. We're going to the balcony. Look at this, y'all. I mean, I love it that there's a balcony up here, and I usually don't really care about second story balconies, but look at that view. There's enough room for uh, a sectional out here. There's enough room for multiple seating. There's enough room for a table and chairs. It's a really good size. I, I mean, it's huge, actually. And then look at the expanse of this view. Uh, this home does back to a green space, so you kind of have these rolling hills, and you can't quite see it, but I would say 20-mile views um, off to the left there, and you come back this other direction. Not quite as far, but huge second-story balcony. I really like that. So this flex space obviously could be media, uh, it could be gaming room, it could be a pool table, ping pong table. Um, there is a full bath up here, which I think is super cool. If you wanted to put bunk beds up here and make it like the fun kid, you know, you know, spend the night room, it, you could literally have the funnest house in the neighborhood. Uh, there's a massive closet here with all kinds of storage space. So it, it could serve as game room, uh, kid, you know, sleepover room. There's a lot of options here. Homeschool room. This could be a lot of options. Uh, and I really like how they did this. Uh, this other, the other door there was attic space, uh, attic access. We won't see that right now. Let's go down. I want to show you the, um, I want to show you the back porch of this home. Um, again, I said earlier in the video, I really like the, the layout of this home. It's unique um, in that it's got the, uh, the owner suite on the back half of the house and it's got other rooms in other places, but I really like the unique layout of this common family room dining area it's just beautiful and it has like this picturesque scenic view from literally every window in the back of the home look at this porch it first of all it's massive you have a an enormous porch there's you've got these sliders here that you could open up and literally make indoor outdoor living uh, the same you could combine those two you've got the beautiful view this wall here has enough space for an outdoor kitchen grill sink fridge you could mount a tv there um, easily enough space for that there's your gas connection for your grill but then look at this view i mean it's it's expansive i mean it helps that we've got this beautiful big texas sky but you're back into a green space here and there's lots of trees, there's lots of brush, you're gonna have wildlife, you're gonna have deer and uh, foxes and that sort of thing cruising by, uh, but just a gorgeous view from the back of this house. Now, because it kind of sits on a hillside, there is a little bit of topography, there is a little a little bit of height here. So when you're looking at the back of this home, yeah, it's, it's high, that's why they've got the railing and the stairs going down. But what I love here is that the yard is massive and it backs up to a green belt and it just it makes it feel, feel even bigger because of that so this is a pretty cool space uh, I, I think that you could really have an awesome kind of retreat back here let's go back in I want to see a little bit more of this common area and just uh, kind of get my Norman Rockwell um, on here in this dining room I, I absolutely love this dining room I want this dining room um, it, it's just made for Thanksgiving dinner um, I'll walk you through here. Uh, as I said earlier, my name is Justin Cofield. I'm a realtor here in the Austin area. I live in Southwest Austin, uh, not far from Headwaters here. Um, super cool neighborhood. They have a dedicated elementary school. There's just a, there's a lot uh, going on here that is, is really positive. Uh, I think that, that you could really have a great spot to raise a family here. I'm going to leave my info in the show notes. Uh, I have people that reach out all the time asking questions about houses and moves. I would love to answer your questions. I would love to help you in any way that I can. Uh, also, if you would not mind hitting the subscribe button, the like button, the notifications button, I put out new content every week. I'd love for you to be a part of my tribe. And as always, thanks for watching.